That's an automatic you lose a life, and you gotta restart the level, and you lose all your coins if you have any, I think. On the bright side, I think all the chests are back where they were. So, there is that. I hate those things. Gotcha. This game is, uh, notorious for its difficulty, if that weren't obvious. Sometimes you just get overwhelmed with everything that's happening on screen, and sometimes you don't. Like right now, I'm just grinding for coins. Figure once I get the 180, I'm pretty good to go. That way I can buy me two X power ups and I'll be all set. Come on, start dropping some coins. get sometimes, because he hops away. Again, if that weren't obvious. Eh. That's a handy-ass power-up. Temporary invincibility. And there's a key behind that, I know it. Yep. No! Ah! So not only does that escort you back, but it takes half your life, too. I don't know why it takes half your life, too, but it does. But it's okay, I just got another one up. I really don't want to break that statue. No, the last time I grabbed an apple I got screwed. That statue, on the other hand, I do want to break. Yeah, well, we got time. Let's grind for coins. Okay, let's not grind for coins anymore. Just break the statue and leave the level. And by the way, if you don't stand in that little shop circle at the end of the level, you don't go to the shop! Which I suppose can be handy. So, talking about weapons. The fire is basically an upgrade to the dagger. It's a straightforward weapon. 
It doesn't really have any special effects, as far as I can tell. The axe lobs in a vertical arc overhead. The chain, again, seems like just a plain old straightforward weapon, but it sure looks neat. And the boomerang goes forward, circles back, goes over your head. Very nice. Very, very expensive. And we are ready to take on the first boss. We got powerful weapon, nearly full energy, four lives, and Zarbus, the first boss, Zabrus, excuse me, the first boss of the game. This is Zabrus. He's ugly. Nothing the axe can't handle, though. Very, very easy stuff. Even easier if you have the boomerang. You don't even have to power it up, really. Damn, I almost grabbed all the coins, too. And we're off to the next level. Now. Whoop, not yet. Haha. <laughs> the damn coins would spawn near me. Oh well. And we're off. Ah, water is delicious. You know, if I just kept the one axe and saved my money, I could have gotten two boomerangs instead. Oh well. I'm good with the axe. Alright, let's, let's go. Time for a change of scenery and a change of music. We are heading into the... Uh... Jungle levels. Ow! And right off the bat I got nailed. Of course. You know, this axe weapon is supposed to be helpful. It's not. Although that was helpful. Ooh. Oh? Oh, that was one of the good priests. Never mind. Thought I triggered one of the bad statues. That's probably probably why it's a bad idea to just wildly throw weapons everywhere. Sometimes you hit a bad statue and you won't have the energy to uh, defend against it. On the other hand, there are threats ahead that just come at you like nobody's business. So by my calculations, I need 220 coins to get a full life. I'm pretty much well on my way at this point. The coins are dropping like crazy here. I like it. I don't like those, however. Those things are really nasty when they get close enough to you. Which is why I haven't let one touch me yet. Uh, has anybody seen the key coin? Coin, e kai, kai, i key. Has anybody seen the i key? Did I miss it? Is it in that chest? No, but everything else is, including some... Oh, oh it, is, it was in that chest. Good for me. And I get another life. Yeah. Ah, 
Ooh, bad. That was a... Oh, man. I got lucky. I got so lucky. I'm playing a really cautious game here. I need to hit the end of the level really quick. Those little devils are... well, little devils. And... okay, that was a good priest. Good. Monk thing. Monk! They're monks. They're not priests, they're monks. Why do I keep saying priests?